Okay, chem guy, here's my question. All right, shoot. My question is, if I have a single replacement or double replacement reaction, and you're telling me that all of those aqueous chemicals in solution break down into ions, then this equation balanced this way is kind of a fallacy. Yeah, don't use such big words. The idea is, truthfully, that that re equation, even though it's, it, it, it means something and it, and it tells us something, it really isn't quite accurate. Neither is this one the double replacement reaction because anything that's aqueous in solution doesn't really exist in that form, if it's ionic, of course, or a strong acid, it breaks down into its ions, making that electrolyte. So here's the thing. This equation is kind of inaccurate. This non-ionic equation doesn't really tell us exactly what's going on. We need to write something called a net ionic equation. All right, so how do you do that? Just take the non-ionic equation, which is what that is, break anything down that's aqueous, aqueous, and dissociate into ions, and then cancel out anything that's a like term on both sides of the equation. Like term, it sounds like math. Just a like chemical. Okay, now watch. Zinc. ZN solid. Write it again. I'm writing this non-ionic equation and writing one that's got to that gets totally broken down into ions. So, what is this? That's a strong acid. Break it down into H positive and Cl negative. Those are the two ions. But, since you have two HCLs, you got two H positives and two Cl negatives. What's that make? In solution, zinc ion, because it's aqueous and ionic. Break it down, break it down! and you've got two Cl negatives. The ion is Cl negative, not Cl2. That's chlorine as a gas, as an ion, it's just Cl negative. And then you're gonna put a two in front, aqueous. And then hydrogen still goes off by itself. Don't break it down, it's a gas, leave it alone. Gases and solids, leave them alone. So now, look, you've got this total ionic equation, man, and now you need a net ionic equation. By looking and seeing, hey, the chlorides are just spectators. They watched this reaction take place, and they really did. Chloride ions did not get involved in this reaction, so they are gone. What is the net reaction? Well, the zinc solid does react with something here. It reacts with H positive ions in solution to form zinc ions. So what actually does happen here is zinc metal loses electrons to the hydrogen ions which gain electrons and then turn into hydrogen gas. That's called the redox reaction. we talk about that later. Now, this is called the net ionic equation. Balanced perfectly in terms of atoms, 2H's, 2H's, 1ZN, 1ZN, and total charge. Two positive and zero here make a two positive on this side. Two positive, zero here make a two positive on this side. Got to balance atomically and electrically. Now, the net ionic equation here for a double replacement reaction, hey, I'm gonna really whip through this real fast here. This is aqueous, you break it down. Break it down into ions, Ba2 positive, NO3 negative. I'm gonna dispense with this, uh, the uh, states of matter just for a second. Na positive, of which there are two here, and SO42 negative here. You've got your barium sulfate, and why didn't you break it down? Because it's a solid, it's a precipitate. When you get a double replacement reaction, look for a precipitate on a, on a solubility table, or look for water forming in a neutralization reaction. That would be a liquid. You don't break that down either. Hey, and then you're going to have Na positive here and nitrate ions. And since there's two of each of those ions, two of those and two of those in solution, what is the net equation? The nitrates cancel. Whoops, nitrates cancel. Oh, I forgot to put the two in front. There's two of those. Cancel two of those over there because there's two there, right? And you've got two Na positives here, two Na positives here, they're gone. The net equation is the barium ions, aqueous, plus the sulfate ions, aqueous. They are going to make that barium sulfate in solution. And really, if you just find the precipitate, right, the two ions that make the precipitate in solution gives you the net ionic equation. Single and double replacement reactions, net ionic equations.